uh, I had not put it in. I had not put it into practice when I met Zippo. He, he he broke it down for me actually, and I started. Yeah, but um, God has just been faithful, and um, from the strategy, I've been able to to relatively build my account to something that um, I can say I'm proud of, and I still hope that it will still be better. Um, this this strategy can actually make you get um, 90 percent within 90 to 95 percent assurance that whatever happens in the market you are still um you are you are, you are on the right track first of all uh, for the new newcomers in the house um i want to i want to acknowledge the fact that is actually a new dawn for you and like somebody said in the group chat, whatever you have learned before joining this group is uh, should be dropped, should be set aside. Once you have learned, once you have learned um, the strategy properly, um, devise it means what works for you, then. Um, you can start confluencing those things that you already know um, to the strategy and and um, and build a better strategy. Um, this evening I will be talking on patience. Um, what I will do, um, I will like us to know that from how I take my trades, I actually pick trades. Um, before entering into a, a position, I go through the daily chart, the four hour chart, the one hour chart, and the 15 minute chart. The 15 minute chart is just to confirm whatever I've gone through in the previous chart. Now, if I go through a daily chart, and, um, and, and I also use, um, my EM is very well. I use EM is very, very well. Um, so Adipo will say he, he he does he does how he he does know how to use count his levels appropriately. But me, I use my EM is very well to to know my entry positions and to know where the market is actually moving to. Um, like one a somebody that I know used to say, he said. <clears throat> that um, in the market, you have the market makers, you have the retail traders, and you have those who, who are not market makers, but they just follow the market makers, follow their footprint in the market. And so I, I prefer to be among the, the people who follow the market makers because I don't have the money that the market makers actually move in the market. So, if I follow their footprint, definitely I will also eat out of what they are also eating on. And so one thing you should know in this strategy is that your capital is key. Your capital is very, very key. There is no point trying to justify your positions, even when you feel you know that you are going in the wrong direction. When people are telling you that you are going on the wrong direction, there's no point trying to keep those positions because one, you are trying to protect one. The first thing that you need to know as a, as a trader is that you have to protect your capital and to grow that capital gradually. And now, why I do swing is not because, is, is purely because I know that swing trades actually give you profit in the long term. But intraday trading makes you feel that you are more than conquer you have plenty of opportunities to make plenty of money on a short time basis and so you also have greater opportunity to lose plenty of money on the short term basis compared to long term trades and swing trades like that now 
Last year, December, on the 8th of Je December, I picked a trade on Euro NZD and I closed that trade in January 28th, 2022. Now, because it was actually that date, it's completed its circle and I moved from there and I'm following it down again, back again. So it is easier for me to, to, to know a particular market because I have followed the trend up until now. And so if I'm following it back, I know that it's going to be a long-term trade again and it's going to earn me plenty of money. Now, um, many, many of us are looking for how we can flip accounts very quickly. Um, it, it, is, it is good to always think like that. But one thing I want you to know is this, that before you enter a market, if you are going to be, if you are patient enough to enter a trade as at when it's supposed to be the point of entry, um, you can calculate how much you, you will get out of the trade if you are going to do a long-term trade then you also calculate the factor of your broker taking swaps and commissions from your from your trades now if you for long term trades i advise that you enter with smaller lot sizes now if you enter with a small lot size say hello can you hear me somebody said he cannot hear I can hear yeah. you. Yeah, okay. yes, can. I can hear you very well. Okay. Okay. Somebody said they can't hear. That's why. Um... The message was before. It was um, when we started the class. I think. Okay. 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 That's um, Karachi Otuchi. So you can't hear anything. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what I do before I enter a trade, many of us as traders, we don't, many people don't have a journal. If you, if you are trading, I advise that you, you get a small notebook and that small notebook will be just for your trading. What you would do is on that trading book is when you take a currency pair, a currency pair that doesn't confuse you and you know that it's on a peak low on a higher time frame or a peak high on a higher time frame, say daily, say, say four hours. Now, when you pick that trade, if you pick the trade at the point where there is a turnaround or forget whatever manipulations that will take, that will happen in the market. Now, once, once now I will, I will give you the strategy I use, but I will first of all give you um, a how to actually make money on a longer term. Because you cannot, like Sadiq or you will always say that you cannot make generational wealth in, in one month from BTMA. It's a gradual process. We grow the, we grow the market together. Now, um, if, you, if you take, for example, a peak trade that um, starts from, let me use, um, 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 Euro GDP, GBP. Um, I, I remember on the 7th, 20, uh, 28th of just the ending of January, I said that the, that market was on a peak low. Now I entered that market because I knew that it was on a peak low. I entered the positions, I entered four positions at that point. Now the market did not move. It didn't move from that position until this news came. Um, I think on, uh, non-farm payroll came. Now when that news came, it moved the market. And when it was about to move the market, because I already knew that it was going to go when they did the stop hunt, I put in more positions and I entered the trade and it moved. Now, the ones I entered previously, sorry, I'm not sharing screen yet. Um, 
I'm not sharing screen yet. I just want to explain some things. We'll go to the we'll go to the we'll go to the screen sharing thing later. Um I entered more positions and those positions were the positions I will close, especially the first ones I entered before, I will close them because um, uh, whatever manipulations that will come again will, will also reduce the profit I would have gotten from them. So what I do most times is <clears throat> I actually pick trades. Once I know that it's about to move, I pick a trade. And once I, I wait for the trade to begin to move, now, once the trade begins to move, I am I will hold that trade pending um, when I see that I'm comfortable. Now, I will leave some trades. If I entered, say, with six positions, I entered with two positions first. And when they do their stop hunt, I enter four more positions. Now, I close the the first two positions I entered, then I leave the remaining six positions to run. Now, I close those two first positions at the 200 Emma. I close those two positions at 200 Emma. And then I leave the others to run for it. Then they give me my setup again. I enter again. I enter two more positions. If they do a stop hunt, I enter four more positions. I close the two later on in the trade. Now, um, what happens during these trades is that I, I continue to follow the trend until I know that they have completed their circle and I now close all of them. Now, that way, by the time I do my com cumulative um, compound um, positions, I would have made more money. I'm giving my broker less, less funds because um, every time you enter positions, they take plenty of money from your spread. And so I would have entered my profit. Now, the, 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 the thing, what I do is, um, before I enter those trades, I calculate me hello let me just finish i'll, I'll allow questions maybe by 9 35 i should be able to answer ask, um answer questions now um, i calculate my position size for example if i know that the long-term trade is going to give um is going to be 1000 pips for example now I multiply them 1,000 pips by my positions. If um, if I want um, I want to make it 10,000 pips, I multiply it by 10. Now that 10 will give me 10,000 pips. Now the, my positioning would give me be would amount to. 10,000 pips at the end of the trade. Do what, what that means is that my lot sizes would will amount to, um, if I'm using times 10, I would have to get 1.0. That is 1.0 lot size. Now, in entering, in entering, in entering 1.0 lot sizes, I can enter with my positions, every of my positions will enter at 0 0.05. Now at 0 0.05 lot sizes, I will enter many positions when I enter the trade to give me 1.0, 1.0 um, um, pips, 1.0, what do they call it again? I've forgotten. 1.0 pips. 1.0 lot size, sorry. 1.0 lot size. So in the long run, by the time I enter one trade, and at the end of that trade, the first trade I enter will give me 10,000 pips. The second trade will be lesser than 10,000 pips. 
the third trade will be lesser than 10,000 pips. So in the long run, I would have gotten close to 30. Um, if it's a long-term trade, is I'm going to have up to 12 positions at the end of the trade. 12 positions. By the time I finish that trade, it will be 12 positions because at each circle, we have three positions for 15 minutes. And so by the time I'm done with the trade, I would have gotten 12 positions. That 12 positions would have given me plenty of money for that period. Now, um, how I enter my trades, I enter the trades, especially when I know that if I'm, if I'm seeing a peak low on a higher time frame, the formation of a peak low on a higher time frame, I enter that trade immediately. And most of my trades, I don't put stop loss. The only time I put stop loss is when these trades have entered profit and I try to secure my money. I put stop loss above my entry positions. Now, when I do that, it helps me to stay afloat that I do not lose my money. And um, even if the, the market pulls down, it will shoot me out, I will enter again. Now, um, at those points, I enter those positions and I calculate how much I would make at the end of the day. Now, for anyone who is doing a long-term trade um, and you want to buy a car, for example, and you need money for a car, you know that by the time the price gets to 200 Emma on that higher time frame, it will pull back to 50 Emma on the higher time frame. So you mark those positions and you enter the trades for a pullback. And once you enter those trades for a pullback with a higher lot size, you will come out with bigger money because you have followed the trend. Um, well, Okadipo says we should not be going against the trend. Um, I also don't go against the trend. It's just that I sometimes we be tempted if you need money for food, money to buy for it. And you can just do that to get some small money and you withdraw that immediately. Now, um, for every trade that you make, the reason why you need to learn patience is the fact that your money is involved. Your money is involved in the trade. And the market makers are not smiling. They want your money. And so in order to secure your money, you need to trade like them. Now, one thing you should note that is, and it's very important that you know that, is that um, the market makers, whether you are trading with bigger lot size or smaller lot size, they are not concerned about you. They are just concerned about <clears throat> how you would make, how they will make money from you. So all you need to do is to protect your, your, your hard end funds. You should also know that your money is your money and you are not in a competition. In the group, in the, in the LearnFX group, we are all there to better ourselves and to make ourselves better. And um, Sadiqo has promised that very soon we'll all gather together and we'll know each other physically. Now, we are there in that group not to compete. We are there in the group to complement each other. Now, the moment you know that you are complementing anybody, you are not in any competition, it gives you an edge. Now, many times we discover that many of us enter into many of us enter into competition because somebody posted these results and you begin to feel inadequate. No, I beg you, 
anytime you enter a position, you are entering that position by yourself and the profit you are going to make is going to be for you. It's not going to be for the person that you want to show off with. So you should always learn to protect yourself and uh, know that you are not in a competition with anybody. You are only there to complement. We are only here to complement each other. I know many of many people have come into my DM to ask for guidance and God has helped me. I've been able to help um, in quite a number of people. Um, for the past one week, I've not been able, I've been busy. I am doing my master's and it's not, it's not a funny thing. Facing chat and also um, trying to, <clears throat> facing chat and also trying to, to read my books. But God will help us. Um, now, um, I want you to, there are some certain things I want everyone to maybe jot down for those who are starting very, who are doing interday trading. If you have a hundred dollars in your account and you want to grow that hundred dollars, first things first, you give yourself timeline. Don't expect to turn around that account in a day or in a single day, in a single trade. Give yourself a timeline. Now, my best advice is that you see that um, account in percentage. Do you understand? You see the account in percentage. Don't see it as a figure. For example, you, you have $100 in your account. Don't see it as $100. See it like um, a, a, every time you make a trade, see it as a percentage of the trade. For example, you have $100, you, you placed a trade and the trade gave you $10. That $10 is not, don't look at it as a small amount. Look at it as 10% of your $100 that you have just traded and you have gotten. Now, when you see your, when you begin to look at your trades in percentages, it gives you an edge. So by the time you make $50, you know that you have made 50% of your account. Now, that way, it will help you to, to know that you're actually moving forward. Another thing is, um, before you enter a trade, I've seen, I, I've noticed on the group chat that a lot of people enter trades and they come into the, the chat to confirm whether the trade they entered is actually correct, which is not the right thing to do. The first thing to do is to bring, bring up the, the chat just mark it the way you, you feel. Uh, for me, I don't know how to mark on my, maybe my phone is not a smartphone, you know. I see, I admire Dickbo and um, Vikram. I admire um, Yanu too, the way they mark their chat. Uh, but I don't know how to mark mine. So I just circle and draw some lines like that. Um, so maybe, maybe because my phone is not smart. Uh, those who are using iPhone, iPhone 1 and iPhone 12, uh, they can mark charts properly. Now, so the, the, if you see your, your positions as you are about to enter a position and you are sure of the trade, post it on the chat. Let people criticize it. Um, somebody placed a chart on Euro, GDP NZD this afternoon. And the, everybody knew that that trend was going to be a sell, but it actually bought today during the news. Now that buying was, if you, if you entered buy and it actually bought, it was lock. And in BTMN, we don't trade based on lock. We trade based on strategy. Now, that lock, it could have gone the other way around. Now, the, re the reason why the market makers move, I have studied the market makers and I have noticed that sometimes when they move market the other way around, when a trend has started, is to fool people. First of the they are the ones who taught people support and resistance. The market makers taught people support resistance. They taught people 
institutional trading. And they also taught, um, they taught people um, price action. Now, this support and resistance, um, I'm not a fan of it because if you trade with it, you lose plenty of money um, because you will not know when support will become resistance and when resistance will become support. Now for institutional trading, they are the ones that are white off. They believe, I'm not sharing screen, please. Um, for white off, white off um, traders, they will tell you it has formed a W, double bottom, and it will do a retest and move. But if you check it, many of these times, it will break, sometimes it will break this resistance and support that um, they give and move. But if you use the BTMM strategy, the BTMM strategy, um, according to Steve Marrow, was it was given to him by a market maker who showed him the the way it works. I've chatted with Steve Marrow before. The guy is very arrogant. He doesn't. If you don't have money for him, he's not willing to talk with you. If you greet him high, he will just answer you high and says, "What do you want?" If you just tell him, he just tell you, "Go and pay this amount of money." So for you, for him to train you. Now for, for this strategy, this strategy actually works. Anytime that you, you enter into a loss is because one, you didn't check your, you didn't check, count your position, your, your, your levels correctly. And two, manipulations by the market makers. The market makers know everybody they see from their own record they see the people who are on a particular trade at time and they know where your stop loss is they know where your stop where your take profit is what they do is at peak peak trades for example at peak formations high and low when the m and the w has formed this is what they do um, they look at the positions. If the M is clearly shown, if the M is clearly shown, it has hit one place, a be head, what they call um, head and shoulders, it has hit and it is hitting again. This is what they do. They will do a stop hunt when they want to move that market. That stop hunt is to hit as many um, stop losses as possible. For example, um, Euro GDP, before it moved, if you check your four hour chart, you see the, the, a very long candle that they drop down like 50 pips, 50, 60 pips down before moving the market. And that move, that move didn't take up to 15 minutes and they moved the market away. Now, this is what they do. They know where the stop losses are. Now, they will hit your stop losses then those who know where the trend is going to go will still enter the market. Now you will follow them to enter, but you have, they have already hit you and pushed you out of the market and they have taken some part of the monies that were hanging. They know, if you see a market consolidating for too long, know that they are, when they are going to move that market, especially during news, um, for, for some time now, I don't even check news. I just know that, um, Whatever the news will be, will be to be to be in my favor. Um, I I chatted Sadiko on Tuesday. I was asking him when was the when is the news because I noticed that Euro USD was just consolidating for too long. You have all the USD pairs were just consolidating for too long. And I asked when the news is going to be. He now told me that it's going to be this afternoon by two p.m. So I just knew that by two p.m they were going to move the market in my direction. Now they did this very long stop hunt. 
And a lot of people entered the opposite direction, thinking that that's where the market was going to go. Now, when they did that, they now moved the market back to where it was supposed to go to. So for everyone that knows his levels, for those who know their level, they know that um, no matter what the market makers try to do, they will still move the market according to your own position. So um, that's why I said that we should be patient. Patience is key in this market. Patience is key. Even before you place a trade, you, you, you have to be patient. Many of us who, are, who have started trading know that we, 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 we wait for the W to form. We wait. If we don't see the W, we don't enter. If we don't see the M, we don't enter because we know that if you trade, trade against them, they will hit you and hit you real bad. And there's no point keeping, like Sadiqba would say, there's no point keeping a losing trade. It, losing trade. It, it doesn't, doesn't make sense praying and asking God to turn the tide around when you have already entered wrongly. Is to close it and save your profit and build your profit back. Another thing I, 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 that just popped up to me now is the fact that many of us who are new and who have not traded too long who are, or who are trading with demo, please note that demo accounts have little or no spreads or the spreads are not too massive now and their leverage is very good. Now, this, this um, when you enter with your real money, you know that there's a difference between trading demo and trading um, real live account. Now, um, on a demo account, you can enter one position and before you, before you say, Jack, you're already in profit, you're already in blue. But that's not what, in reality, that's not how it works. The spreads differ per pair and per broker. Now, I don't trade Eurozar. I don't trade uh, all the Zar pairs. The reason is because on my broker's profile, their spread is massive, very massive. And I cannot be trading and be giving my broker money. He's already eating money from me. And I will still give him plenty of spread. I've seen that from my, from my spread, sometimes I see especially the Zappa, um, Zappiers, I see sometimes you see like 3,000, see 3,000 pips, which is massive. Can't give somebody $3 from my, three or $3.5 from my money, then I will have to struggle and enter the market before, before, the, before I enter into profit. Now, um, another thing that we should know is that there's a thing they call margin call. On your MT4, you will see that there's margin on it. Once, you're, once you enter plenty positions on your, on your MT4, and it begins to, your margin begins to drop. As you enter positions, your margin begins to drop, except those positions begin to enter into profit then the margin will begin to rise. Now, once the margin gets to 50%, there will be a margin call. Now, that margin call will close the, the positions with the highest number of loss. It will close it automatically. Now, when it closes it, you will have lesser funds, and so you have to struggle to stay afloat. So before you enter trades, please check your margin calls. Um, there's no, there's no point trying to enter plenty trades when, when you, you already have plenty losses. Now, for somebody was asking on the, and for the newcomers, um, I know that Sadiqo has already taught us many things. I've watched our videos and we have learned so many things from those videos. Now, from those videos, I want to reiterate that 200 Emma, your 200 Emma, 800 Emma, 
and 50 ma on higher time frames are very important. 200, 800, and 50. And we all know how this transition works. If you see a 50 ma on four hours, and you will know that in in um, in one hour is is the 200. Then in 15 minutes it is 800. Now I also want to make us understand something. If you are if you are going to join those who swing trade, please note that every time you see a candlestick in four hours, it means that that candlestick that closed in four hours is actually 16 candles. 16 candles in 15 minutes. So one single candle in four hours is 16 candles in, in 15 minutes. And so when you see that on, on the higher time frame, especially for peak trades, when you see only one candle, it doesn't mean that it will have to give you another W again. Most times, especially for the first leg, when they're about to move the market for the first leg, just note that your 15 minutes for that one candle that has just given you a head start is 16 candles on the 15 minutes. And so if you enter at that 15 minutes, you are sure that, and you know, they will never come back to it. They will never come back to it. And so once they give you that first leg, that first leg and you enter at that peak and that point, whether it's at, at a peak low or at a peak high, once you enter, when they do their stop hunt for that um, on a lower time frame, you will they will never come back to it. And so you are safe. Once you enter trades like that, you are safe from every manipulations that they will do henceforth. And so that's the that's one way to look at your chart. Once you look at a chart, for example, and you see that on four hours, for example, you know that it has taken 16 candles on 15 minutes. So when you check, like some people said that um, there's, a, there's a currency pair that, that moved recently and I saw on the chart, somebody said that it didn't, move, it didn't give the correct, um, the M or the W and it moved. Please, just zoom out your 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 chart and see. You will see that it actually gave you the W because it is sixteen candles spread, and so those sixteen candles can 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 be very deceptive if you are not careful, especially when you zoom zoom in on on your charts all the time. And um, I think that should be all. I was supposed to share my screen. I'm not enabled to do that. So. Um, if you have questions, we can ask questions now. Answer, you can share your screen now. You're a co-host, except you have issues with, you're good to share your screen. You're a co-host. I'm not sure, okay. Check, okay. check. Okay, let me check. Okay. You can see the way you, do your chat like you say but um, Bozipo doesn't used to do mark chatting and you don't do mark chatting so she do the way you do your own chat okay no I I I mark my chat so I know my I know my levels I know my levels I'm trying to see okay okay just try to show us your chat okay I have a question, sir. Please go ahead. Sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Oh, please, um, since um, I want to ask a question, please. Go ahead. You talked about stop points. Um, I don't know if you can. Go a little bit deeper. Can anybody see my screen? No. No. Okay. 
Okay, stop horns um, are. Let me see. Stop horns are okay. Nobody, nobody can see my screen. We can see your screen. We can see it. Okay. I can. Okay, I can see your screen. Okay. Now, um, on AUD, on AUD, USD. For example. So did you get? Did you get my question? Yes, you said stop horns now. No, no. Okay. I said I said concerning the four hour scandal and the 15 minutes. You said the four hour scandal represents up to 16 candles in the 15 it's, minutes. It's 16 I, candles on 15 minutes, yes. I didn't get the blending. I didn't get what you said about it. Okay. Uh, if you can see my screen. You about it? You, if you can see my screen number, you can see yes, my screen. Sir. Okay. Yes, now, this candle, you are, um, I don't have market now. I'm, I'm a learner. I don't know all these things. Now, you see where the price is on AUD USD. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this one candle that is looking from up to down, once this candle closes, it's 16, it makes 16 candles on 15 minutes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, stop hunt. Let me show you stop hunt on this same pair on stop hunt, 15 minutes. This is the stop hunt. This, this peak here on this peak is actually the stop hunt. Did you see it? Where my where I place this um, cursor on is actually a stop point because price moved away from 200 Emma. It moved away from here and moved up to this point. Now, we all know that when price reacts on, um, when price reacts on this platform, it, it will bounce back. Now, if you check, if you check on one hour, let's go to one hour, sorry. Sorry. Now, if you go to the one hour, this is what happens in one hour. Now, the stop hunt that we, that we always clamor about is, now you see a trend, you see this trend. It started from the 50 MR. It went up above every other, um, every other point. Then immediately after that candle closes, another candle did a similar thing. The candle moved similarly backwards. Now, when that candle closes, you will know that price will never get around here again. It will not come to this point anymore again. So once you see this candle, once you see this candle, complete and the other candle is about to close. Now you cannot know whether it's going to close except you go to the, on the lower time frame. If you go on the lower time frame, you'll be able to see when it's going to close. Now, I don't know how to mark my chart. That's what I said before, but um, I just, once I look at my chart, I know what, what to expect from a chart. Um, how many of us are in, in this trade? Euro CHF. Euro CHF. Euro CHF for, for some days now. It started on Monday. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four days now. It has been on a peak. It came down to the 200 and it went up again to go and retest these positions. Now, if you go on a higher time frame, what I did was that on a higher time frame, on the higher time frame, you can you see this Emma? Can everybody see yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Now, when this trade moved away from these positions, I have been waiting for this trade for for the past two weeks. It didn't move. It was here. 
Now, on Monday, they moved the market to this position. Now, it crossed a, it crossed, it crossed a, I entered here, I entered the positions here, I entered some positions here because I saw my Emma at this point, my 200 Emma on one hour was on this point where my cursor is. I entered this position. Then when I checked the daily, I saw this 200 Emma on this point. My positions that I placed, I now did a sell limit on these positions. Now, as of this evening, when I checked, those sell positions have, have been activated. The price is going down. Now, this is what I expect. This daily chart, this daily chart would, will finally come here. Sorry. This daily chart will finally come to this position. It will come here to price from Euro CHF on this daily will fall back to 0, 04 to this axis between the 0, 0, 04638. It will fall back to this place. And because it is a daily chart, sometimes it might not be one candle that will bring it down to that position. It might be several days. It might be, it's it's not a it's not a day's work. Now, the same thing applies to four hours. The same thing apply, applies to four hours. Now, if your chart, this is the position I said I entered some from because I saw this 800 Emma and I entered some position, the price still went up. Now, immediately I saw that the price was going up. I immediately went to check my daily and I saw that there was a 200 Emma. And so I placed my sell positions there. Now, this price from four hours, I don't expect it to drop down to 50 Emma in a day. Sometimes it can take a day. Sometimes it can take two days. Now, I know that it will form fall back to this 200 Emma. Now, if you go on a lower time frame, this distance that you are seeing that is very small, it's not small. Though. This is 1.05217. Currently, price is, uh, is reacting at 0.59. 5951. Now, if you calculate the number of pips, this is over 700 pips. This is over 700 pips that this price will move from this current price location to this position. Now, on a lower time frame, it is not small. So it sometimes it might not move this market up to 700 pips in a day. Now that's why TDI comes in. You know that you know. How, how many pips or how many pips they, they are going to move the market on a daily basis. If it's 56, if it's 70, if it's 80, you will know from your TDI. So you know that this, this point that you are seeing currently, it might not be one day that it will just push it. But if there's a news, and you can expect that they can push it up to this point in one day, especially when they have lacked behind for too long, especially when um, according to fractional disparity, if the pair that are supposed to move together, one is lagging behind. Now, those news, they used to use it to push and make them all correspond. Do we understand? Do we understand? Yes, yes. I'm, 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 I'm using yeah. this chart because... Um, there are no trades on this on this current chart, and um, I don't want you people to see the way I do my this thing. But I'm showing you how I do my thing. Um, and uh, okay, now for four hours, how many of us are seeing the W on USD card? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Yes. Now. How many of us know that the price will still go further than this? Yeah, we know definitely. Yes. Now this is it. On four hours, this is what has happened. This is your peak low. This is your first level pullback. This is your second level pullback. We all know that it will still push up to give us a to give us our second. 
our second level. This is the second level consolidation. And so we are trusting that it will move up and give us um, this thing. But how many of us know where it's going to end? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now let me show you. This is where it's going to end. Are you seeing it? 800 MR. Okay. Now, at 800 MR, it will have completed its circle on a daily. So it's not a day street. It's not two day street. It's not three day street. Except there's news. That's when you see that the push up will be massive. Now, it's going to end here. Now, what, how I do my trade, this is how I do my trade. I, if I enter a trade here, immediately I enter a trade here like this. Can you see my cursor, the marker on the... Are you seeing the, the marker? Yes. Tell them you, can add, yes. you can add this volume information that is covering your cursor. If you go to your settings, you're going to see volume okay. something. You just off it. Okay. Volume, volume and window, data window. Volume and data window. Okay. Two. okay. Volume and data window. Data window. Okay. That is data window, dear. Data window. Okay. Yes. Thank and you. Volume again. I I won't check it. Right. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. See those who have been trading for a long time, they know all these things. So we have not started trading. We just thank you very much. I'm grateful. Now on if I enter my trade on this posi particular position, for example, are you seeing it? Yes. yes, we are. Now at this point. This is the point. This is at this point. This is where I go and check my 800 Emma and I put it down on my journal. Once I enter this trade here at 1.22798, immediately I enter the trade. I will go to and check for my 800 Emma on a higher time frame. Excuse me. Bless you. I will, I will go, I will go on immediately. I enter the trade. I will quickly check for my 800 Emma at that point. Now, this is what will happen. Once I enter the trade here, I write down the take profit point. At this point, it will be here. Do oh. we understand? <clears throat> Yeah. At this point, it will be here. Now that's two point one point two nine one nine five. Now, as I enter that trade, now you see that the moving average of this eight hundred dropped down. It dropped down to this point. It dropped down. Is now currently at one point two eight six nine eight. Do we understand? Yes. Now, when this trade is going to close, when this trade is going to close, when it's going to hit this um, on USD card, when it's going to hit this point, it will get to this point. It will get to the. It will get back to this point. Okay, it will get back to this point. That's why sometimes you see that the the market is just moving up and it's not still. You don't know why it's moving up. At the point of entry, that's the point of exit on eight hundred. It will get to this point. It will close, definitely close at 29.195. Do we understand? Yes, we do. Okay. So yes, that's, yes. So that's how oh, no, I... No, the understand wants to know. And as hey. much more of us take understand the thing, you know, share like this. So I started this thing not <laughs> quite long ago. I started, um, I started like, um, October I've been uh, November. I was not serious about it, Sha, ah. but I, I'm not serious. I'm very serious now. Even me too, I'm not serious. So that's the problem I have. Oh. No, no, but oh. I don't remember. Yes. Sir, please I have a question. Please go ahead, sir. How do you know that? How do you know that it's at that 800 mile that it will complete the cycle? Well, how will I, how did I know? Yes, um, like what gives you the 
the assurance. The assurance. Yeah, the assurance. Um, you know, what we are taught from institutional trading, Ba, is that yeah. we have support and resistance. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. You can see my chart very well, right? Yeah, I can. Yes. It's now, you, you see that you see that from at every point when the, the market on this higher time frame hits 800 Emma, yeah. it comes down. The jacks. Yeah. So that's how I know. Okay. Now, before this price we get to this 800 Emma, it must complete a circle. Circle. It must definitely complete a circle. Let's check. This is this is level one. This is this is your peak formation low. This is your level one. This is its pullback. This is level two. And this is level three going to end here. Okay. Okay. Now I get it. Thank you, sir. We are not sour. We are all together in this thing. <laughs> so I had to make money. So, no, 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 no. so no, any no. other question? Uh, please, I have a question. Please, go ahead. Uh, must you remain in the market to all those pullbacks until you get to where? Uh, I, I, it seems as if you just joined. Now, if you if you started the market with me, I said that if I enter the trade here, for example, do you understand me, sir? Hello? Hello? We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. I'm sorry. If I, if I enter the trade here at... 1.20247 for example now it it rejects at 200 mr that's two six one zero five at this point i will enter a cell to 50 mr here that's a cell to two four one eight four as he hits the 50 Emma, I know that it's going to reject back again. I enter another, that's where I enter mm -hmm. another buy positions. Do you understand? Now the price got to this point, it got to the peak here. I will enter sell again and enter it again when it comes down to this point. Enter buy, enter sell, enter buy. It gets here. I will, I will wait for it to come back here. Enter by to come back here. Enter again. I will just leave it, let it run until it gets here. So now as it rejects here on the 800 Emma, I enter sell. It comes back to the 50 Emma. I enter because it is still coming to do a reset. I've counted my levels. This is this from here. Sorry, you cannot see my, my barrel. From here, sorry, sorry. From here to this point is a complete circle. From here to this point here is a complete circle. That's completed one, two, three levels. Now, um, that's why it is always good when you look at your chart, you all know that this chart, this one candle, this one black candle, all happened in a day. So if price <coughs> moves, bless you, sir. If price moves from two, two, four, eight, nine, zero, excuse me. If it moves from here in a day and closes here, that's that's um, over a thousand pips in a day. This one day. So that's why sometimes I, I, I told somebody recently that um, Euro CHF and that pair. Euro CHF. Euro CHF just completed the circle. 
and it's going, going to do a long buy. Now, the long buy is over. How many pips is this? 5,000 pips from. to this point and it's not going to be in a day now as you trade with the market makers you know that now we've just seen that it hits the on the daily chart it hits this 200 emma it's going to bounce off back to this point then it will go back up again now our moving average at this point will be or it's not it's not static, so it will be dynamic and it's moving as the price is moving. So as the price is going up, the moving average will face up. As it's coming towards the down part, it will be coming down. Definitely, by the time you are ending this, you would have made plenty of money. Now, this is what the institutional traders will do. They know that. And the market makers know the same thing. They know that many of the institutional traders, this is a support or a resistance. This point here, are you seeing it on my chart? This place where my cursor is, where this, where there was a reject on 800 Emma. Yes, we can see it. Now, many of the institutional traders, we know that the market will get to this point before it will reverse. Now, if paraventure, the last leg of the candle, uh, I said candle, the last leg of the circle is not properly completed, they will move it far away from this place. And that's when they will say the, the thing breaks structure. Do you understand? Now, many of them will also be thinking that if it breaks here, it will hit here, or it will come back here or it will come back here. Now, if it doesn't get to this point, it will reverse back. But for me, as a BTMM trader, I know that once price gets to this 800 MR around here, it will definitely reverse back and start a new cycle. And that is why it's, it's very difficult for you to predict the market. It's very difficult. When you look at the chart, you just begin to think that there's no... There's no similarity in the market. It's a lie. It's because of the moving averages that they, they two are using to get their own setup. So if you if you understand this, now if any, I know that we have plenty of people who already know why cough, who know, um, who already know um all these big big terminology. Other block. Yeah, yeah, other block and the others. They too we know how this thing works. So the other block and the other blocks have they, sometimes they know they work with <laughs> BTM. <laughs> Great structure. So, but once you know this, now I like I said, always note that 200 MR, 800 MR, and the 50 MR on higher time frames are very, very important. Sometimes they may look like they are very close to each other. Don't worry. On a higher time frame, they are not close. They might look close together, but when you look at a lower time frame, you know how many pips that you are going to make out of the market. And so if you know the number of pips you are going to make, like I said for this trade, um, Euro CHF, if you started this trade on a buy on this level, my brother, you have started a 5,000 pips walk. If you started it's 5,000 pips walk, now you enter at you enter this market. Let me see if I can. How do I go back now? I don't know how to do. Okay. Okay, let me go back. So it's okay. Right screen. Now, if you okay, if you entered, 
<laughs> Those who know how to use this thing, how do they write? What do, you want, what, what do you want to do? Okay, I've seen. I've seen the... Okay, 5,000 pips. See, I entered 5,000 pips. Then multiply by 0 0.5. <gasps> Those who are good in mathematics should tell us the number of pips. The number of dollars. Yes, number of dollars. Uh, zero point five love to give us twenty five thousand dollars now. Yeah. Is it small money, my brother? Yeah, not small money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so, but the patience to get this thing—that's the thing. That's the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And in this five thousand twenty five thousand dollars, now this twenty five thousand dollars, you can make more when he's doing a pullback. For example, he's doing a pullback, and the pullback is maybe hundred pips, and you enter with zero point one. You enter with one point zero lot size. You will have. Ten thousand dollars. That's money. Now you are waiting for twenty five thousand dollars at zero point zero five. When you are sure that you you are on the right track. Now in between you make ten thousand dollars off and on, off and on, off and on. Ten thousand dollars. That's like um, how much in Nigerian money? Four. Let's say four hundred. That's four million. Maybe that's four million. Naira. So it's more than uh, it's more than four million or ten thousand. About five million naira, depending on five, your exchange rate. Five by something is is more than five hundred naira now. Two thousand times two thousand. Just on a on, on a lower distance. That's what I'm just saying. Just like four thousand. Depends on the exchange rates now. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now this money is not small money. If you can make it in two days, so. Or within two days, yes, because the hundred pips will be like two days trade when he's doing. And so in the long term, now just assume that you did this trade and you are waiting patiently for the $25,000 and you entered two positions. That means you are expecting $5,000, $50,000 at the end of the trade, which will take maybe a month to complete that circle maybe a month or three weeks. Oh. Now you are waiting for $50,000. And at the and in between you have made, off and on, you have made like 10, more than this $50,000. Now at, at the end of the year, when you are taking stock, you will know that Forex traders actually paid you very well. So do so we understand? Please yeah. go ahead, sir. I was wondering, you know, this one you are saying now, this five thousand to five dollars is for those who have patience, like you guys. Uh, no, no, get patient. No uh, patience. Make sure you do. The question, no, the question is, the patience, the patience is this: you can wait. Can you wait for your W to form? That's the thing. Can you you wait for your W to form on smaller time frames, right? Yeah. If you can wait, you can wait for this. Okay. Okay. And then now I'm I'm not okay. saying that I'm not saying what I'm saying is that I'm not saying that you should not do intraday trading. Okay. Now, if you enter at a peak formation, for example, you enter a trade, you have a hundred dollars, for example. You entered at a peak trade and you entered at 0 0.02 lot size. You enter four positions. Okay. Now, the four positions you entered, you can close two when the thing gets to 200 M and is doing a reset. Now, the other two that is running, you leave it. And once the your M and your W has formed again, you enter your four more positions again. I said this when I started the class. You enter your four more positions again. Now, you are waiting for it to get to the 200 MR for a reset. Now, when it gets to the 200 MR, you close to leave to. That means you have four trades running. Do you understand? And all of them are in profit. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. 
So even if you want to be withdrawing your money, you are actually doing compounding. So you will just allow the thing to run. And if it gets to your 800 MR and completed the second on another time frame, now you know that you will wait for it again. Enter another four positions and you would close the two when they get to 200. That's the same way you just do. Now, intraday, in your intraday trade, you would have closed your profits, would have closed your, your, you have made more money in your daily acquisition of profits. Then you also have made a long-term profit when the circle finally completes. What that does for you is that once the circle completes, you'll be able to know the trend of the market. Do you understand? By the time the, the market has completed its full circle, that means on a higher time frame, it has done, it has completed level one, two, three on that time frame. Let's take, for example, it has completed a comp, it has made a complete circle in, in on a daily chart. Now you know that the market is going to reverse back. And so you can see follow that market back again to get to its logical conclusion. And one thing I know for one thing I know for many of us is that we are trading too many pairs. We are trading too many pairs. We have 28 pairs on apart from gold, silver, and um, DX, indices, and the other, all the others. We have 28 normal pairs apart from the exotic pairs, the ZAR pairs and the mm. uh, those areas, all those pairs, the, the one NZD, USD, um, Euro and GD, GBP, all those pairs, their combination is 28 pairs. Now, if you pick a particular pair or two, let's assume, I, I, sometimes I have me some people when they, especially they pick Euro, 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 AUD. I used to admire them because I know that that market used to move sometime. And when it's moving, I don't used to know because I'm, I'm not a fan of that pay. And so um, um, just pick a particular pay that you are comfortable with and roll with it. You have 28 pairs. If one is not giving you a good setup, please, I beg you. Don't force yourself. Don't force market makers to go your way. Just choose another one. And for fractional disparity that I know of, I know that whatever, many of us have noticed that NZD card. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Bless you. NZD card and NZD USD are currently doing the same thing. Is that correct? NZD card and okay, NZD I'm USD. NZD USD. Oh. NZD card and NZD USD is doing the same thing. Euro GDP, Euro GBP, and um, Euro C. I think Euro Euro CHF. They are currently doing the same thing. Wow. Please check your chart. You see what I'm saying. It's not much. Is it doing the same thing? Well, let's check it together. Let me see if I can do this. Go back. Okay. Euro NZD. Okay, this is Euro CHF. Let's check Euro GDP. So GDP. Where's this? Euro GDP. Oh, I'm going to have a pair for it. Euro Wow. Sorry, you're my network. We're in the village of Joss. So that's why the thing is doing like this. It's not loading properly. 
Joss. Joss? Where in Joss? Joss, no. I mean, Bukuru. Building my time. Where in Bukuru? Wow, that's nice. Where in Bukuru are you? Sorry, Busy materials. Eh. Wow. Yes, sir. Do you do you reside here at Jaws or what? I reside in Jaws. I'm I'm from Edo State. Wow. Yeah, I've only been to Shandam in Jaws. Shandam. You've been to Shandam? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. See okay. how you pronounce it, Shandam. Oh. Okay. Are you seeing the chat now? C is U G D P and U C H F. You see that they are almost at the same point in hitting the 200 MR. Let's check N Z D U S D. This is N Z D U S D. This is N Z D card. Are you seeing that they are doing the same thing? Yeah, yeah. So if one of them, if you enter, you can you can decide to pick any of the pairs. They do the same thing. Um, MCG. This is you and um, G card. Are you seeing it? G U G card. G U G card. G card. Are you seeing them? Let's see card JPY. This is card JPY. Let's check NZD JPY. Are you seeing them? They are all doing the same thing. Now, any pair that has anything that has XXS, like um, the NZD card and NZD USD, any pair that has NZD XXX is doing the same thing. Card XXS will be doing the same thing. GBP, GBP. XSS will be doing the same thing. Anything that has G GBP as a pair will be doing the same thing together. So if you miss, some of them are slow. Some of them are very, very slow. So what you need to do is to understand which pairs are slow. Now, if for instance, you miss a move, the move I've started in NZD card and you missed it, you quickly go and check another pair that does the same thing. Sometimes he might not have started his move, so you enter because you know that his, his father has already moved. So you know that the son will follow. Oh. So you see. Ogadik Pona, you teach me this thing. No? What did I teach you? Ogadik Pona, master now. Ogadik Pona, master. Now you teach me, you. you tell me, say the thing, they do the same thing. So I got to go study the thing. You know? See, say the thing, they do the same thing. So most times I just speak, I am, I am, I'm a fan of GU, EU, you understand? GU, they used to move sharp, sharp, and it gives you plenty peeps. When they are moving like this, they are moving heavily. So that's it. Any other question? Oh, that's the ball. Hello. Hello. I have a question. Uh, please, please, when you identify your peak formation, how do you yes, enter? Sir. Do you enter with a buy order or market price? Like, do you set buy order or you enter directly in the market? So it's moving. Well, um, then to be frank, um, I only place buy or sell order when I see my 200 Emma and 800 Emma. For example, now, um, Euro J, this Euro JPY that I've seen on my screen now, it is doing a stop hunt. 
On a day he's doing a stop once. That means on a lower time frame, let's go to 15 minutes. There will be a massive drop. Can you see it? 15 minutes. Now, on, on the oh. higher time frame, on the daily, it's just one candle that is moving down. Did you, did you see it? Oh. Now, on the 15 minutes, it's a very massive move from here to this point. Now, as a market maker, if the thing doesn't reverse at this point, at 50 MR, if price does not reverse at this point, we know that it is going to hit here. Now on the daily, let's go to the daily. What is this Emma that you are seeing? The Emma you are seeing is this. The Emma you are seeing that to come to hit is this one. The That's 13. The 50. 13. Ah. Now, you see that that move is going to be a massive downward move. And before it gets to this point, you have completed the circle. And once it gets there, it's going to go back. Do we understand? So, may I check my charts from higher time frame down to lower time frame? So, and I know that the trend here is not going to come down on one day. It's not two days. It's going to take some days for it to get here. Except there's a news that can give me one long candle like it did for Euro GDP. So, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah, go ahead. You are, you are saying something. Now, um, I was trying to say that um, we should understand some basic things about higher time frames and how they work. Now we see that these higher time frames, you see this candle that are forming. Sometimes the market will move very fast, sometimes it will not move fast. We should just be wary of it. The market will move our way. Now, on the daily for this pair, it's doing a stop on. On this pair, if you are entering, if you are a swing trader, for example, you know that price will fall down please, to this. Can you point. give your chart to the center, please? Did you know they move past this center? I don't know. Long, pr long press, just your press down on your screen. Long press down on your screen. Okay. Yeah, now you can move it. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there Thank you. you. Thank you. Tap it on it to stop. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. See now, now they use now don't they do this thing for a long time? We will just start. We don't know anything. Now, now you be baba for inside this thing. You just start. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just take my time, stay study the thing because I don't lose plenty of money, so I, I decide to not to lose money again. Now, from this chart, we all know that price will come down to this place. Now, in coming down to this place, it will not be a base business. So, for those of us who are still. Yeah, it's very easy to check all your charts. So very easy. Now, just assume that I am a very good fan of this Japanese yen pair, for example. I for don't enter this sheet. Well, because I know be fun. So, so if you enter the trade here like this, you are definitely sure that by the time you are getting out of this business here to move back up. You would have made plenty of money. This is 32. This is 30. That's over. That's over 2,000 pips, if I'm not mistaken. That's plenty of money. So all these intraday traders that are in the house, 15 minutes people, <laughs> this is your uh, well, uh, actually uh the 15 minutes in the intra in intraday trading actually i i just see that uh what i do with it now is just to 
Uh, I would like to give me daily bread. Scalp. Yeah, no, scalp. not scalp. No, interbreed trading too is not scalp. So it's I, not I scalp. Have, yeah. I have it's not scalp. What do you say? I have this question, sir. Okay, looking at this. Okay, looking at this spread that you are showing us. Yes, this, sir. This drop down that is happening now on the daily. What cost is like? It didn't hit any EMA at the top. So I just coming down. Let's go back. It hit it an EMA, my brother. Check your check your your list very well. Just check. Check all of them, you see. <laughs> okay, this is four hours wow. daily. Let me check weekly. Okay. Now um it didn't hit, it didn't actually hit. Now this is what you do. Okay. Daily daily. Okay. Now um check. Count your levels from this point. Let's count levels. Now from here, it count. Sorry, I'm using pen to. From here. It completed the circle, moved up. This one completed the circle. If you check your lower time frame, you see that it completed the circle. How do I do this now? Okay. Now this one completed the circle too. This peak completed the circle. This one completed the circle here. If you check lower time frame, you see this one completed the circle. Now this is what is happening here. At this point, price is reacting to is reacting to this is what is that? No, if I'm asking if it's reacting to a previous highest high. No, 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 it's not reacting to previous RSI. What I Should how I, I check okay. how I check my, my own. You see this RSI that I'm you are seeing on my screen. That's why I so I think I should put it to TDI and I don't know how to do that one. So I just left my RSI. Do you understand? No, on a higher time frame, I use my RSI. This RSI positions. Are you seeing how the are you seeing where my cursor is? Yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. I use my RSI to know that if it's overbought, if it gets here. Price will react and begin to turn back. Now, 70 is my benchmark. Now, if it doesn't get, it has gotten to 69. If it gets here, now I expect it, if it doesn't, if it passes this location and it moves up, sorry, it moves up to this point, I expect it to reverse. I've never seen from my study of charts, I've never seen an an RSI on higher time frame that gets to this point. Do you understand? So even if it's climbing, I follow it. Now, once I see that, now this RSI reacts with price. Now, if it's the head begins to tilt downwards, I know what to expect. And so because I know what to expect, I know that this price will drop down to this place. Okay. Can you put your chart on uh, on each one, sir? Each one. Thank you. Yeah, each one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So uh, he asked the question earlier on, uh, <laughs> like why is why we price why is price rejecting around that point? If you okay. count each one or each four levels. Yes. Yeah. Price. Put it on each four. Let's just use each four. Oh, okay, just leave it like that. Look at it. Look at it from H1. Okay, okay. good. H1 is good. If we count our levels, H1 is definitely telling us that we are at its peak. Yes. 
for each yes. one is not telling us we are yet at its peak. So it what will happen is H4 will drop to 50 MR, which is 13 MR on D1. That is that Amsel told us about. Yeah. So you should be, you should be waiting for H4 to give you its own peak, then drop down to uh sorry, uh uh yeah, H1. You should, you, should, you should be waiting for H1 to give you his M, drop to 200 MR, H1 will drop to 50 MR, and then uh, D1 will drop to 13 MR, and all of them will just return up back. Now, what should be expecting? I don't know if it's, if it's clear. Please Hello. repeat. Okay, let's let uh, please, I'm sorry, kindly take it back to. Uh, to D1, let's start from D1, yeah. Please, can you zoom out so we can see it clearly? The, the one we are considering. Okay. Yeah. See, the, we are considering this, and we both know that we still have, on D1, the movement oh. is still going up, right? Yes. Do you agree with that, everybody? Yes. Now, if the movement is going up on it uh, d1 you expect that at a point in time d1 is supposed to reject have a break in market pull down back before it continues up now at that moment that higher time frame is pulling down back it means that a lower time frame has completed its peak okay. you understand a, a, a lower time frame has completed its cycle and that lower time frame is the one showing that there's a pull down back either to be 50 or to a, a reset. To eight, okay, to 800. Yeah. So it depends on the lower time frame that has completed the cycle. All of them are just obeying each other. You understand? Like, we know that uh, uh, the higher time frame detects what the lower time frame will do. But the lower time frame also have to complete their cycle. And when you see an higher time frame rejecting, pulling back to either 50 MR or 13 MR, as the case may be, you should know that one particular lower time frame has completed its cycle and it is what pulling back for a reset. That's now, the reason from, why, okay. so now from, from those who are doing institutional trading, they will say that it is <laughs> because it is a peak. That's why it's going back. That's where they will miss it. That's why sometimes the thing doesn't follow. See? Normally, they would have put their other block here, expecting yeah, price to reach. No, they for those who do white off, they are waiting okay, for. Okay, okay. Yes, they will, they are waiting for another. They place another block here, and That's this is like where price, will, the price will hit and come back. And yeah, now, yeah. by the time they pull this other block, the price is not hit. It is now rejecting it's, it's, and it's going back. So. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think uh, uh, those people, but uh, the other block people, they, they in most cases they miss a lot of trades. Actually, they miss they a lot of trades. But many of them are very patient people too. Yeah, they are patient people too. They are patient people too. Actually, they are patient people too. But I, I me mean, personally, from because I, I, I learned uh, a whole lot of strategies, uh, support and resistance. Like I used to say, even uh, ICT, ICT said of uh, uh, other block and the likes, I learned it to an extent, but at, at the point in time, but you just have to sit down and look at it like BTMM has it all. Like, what are you looking for that BTMM does not have? All you just need to do is to sit down, know how mark you can, chart. yeah, back your chart, know how you can relate your time frames together. I think that's the most important thing. Your time yeah. frame, when I say, say your time frame means your MR2 is inclusive, how you can relate everything together. The moment you can get that, I don't think we have any problem in market again. The moment we can all get that. I, I think, personally, I actually think Amsel did a very, very good homework for himself. Right? He did his own work very well. Because I could remember that time he, he doesn't even he, he, will, he will just be looking at everybody in the group he does not really talk that much that time not like even now that he talks he, he chats he, he, to an extent but when he came out then everything just changed and like this thing this thing this thing is going to go here and it, it definitely will go so i feel actually every one of us needs to go back i used to 
lifestyle uh, the new people they you are trading life and you are learning you can learn mm. that way you can learn still that using way. support and resistance and the other block um, <laughs> drawing it, it, it does not work that way like seriously it does not work i, I actually feel it is one thing that is actually causing it you don't want to submit yourself to learning you understand no, they uh, feel- because I, I believe that a lot of people, a lot of people who actually joined this, this thing, um, this group, they joined it because they had issues with their account and they felt that what they learned is not enough. Enough. So, yeah, uh, so, so a lot of a lot of times we discover that whatever we have learned is always very, it's always very difficult for us to, to. To treat to it, forgo it, yes, yeah. honestly. Now honestly. that 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 foregoing, I'm not saying that foregoing is bad. What I'm saying is that why not learn this one and confluence it with whatever you are. It. Oh, but, but my dear brother, actually, during my time, uh, when uh, my friend actually first told me about BTM, I was like. Please don't start. I've already lost a lot of money to the market. Don't come and bring one stupid strategy. That was exactly what I told him. Don't come and bring one stupid strategy and tell me it works. Then he said, okay, just try and watch the first video of Steve Maru. Then I did. Then I was like, are you, are you for real? Like, you know, that, uh, that anxiousness, like, ah. So these things happen in markets. And... The next thing I did was just to jump into the market, like believing I know it all. Like from what you understand, believing I know it all, using whatever Steve Maro said in the first video, which is not actually not enough, and which is not the main coco. You understand? Because Steve Maro wouldn't have released a free video, a, a, a paid for class video online for you to watch it for free. You understand? So you release the free version of it all to start something in our lives. You understand? So a whole lot of people, I, I've seen a lot, a lot of people who tell me online that, okay, uh, Shabiz, uh, what is it called? It is BTMM. I've seen Steve Maro's video. I don't need you again. I don't I don't want you. Steve Maro's video does not work. The strategy works for a while and then they stop working. I would be like, are you for real? You've not done your research. You, you got a free video. You got a uh, uh, 16 hours video and you believe that is all because it's a 16 hours video. Now, a lot of people come into the group with the hope of, okay, this uh, the training will transform their lives. But the truth is that they don't want to do the hard work. They just watch the video and believe that, okay, if I've seen, I've seen the video, they believe that something you have actually started and then they just want to jump into trades. It does not work that way. So I, I think taking time, like I said, before me personally got to know BTMM, I used to say there's nothing to write. I still lost nothing less than two, two million, three million naira to it oh. before I got to know it, understand it well. Because I did like a whole lot of new business on the group are doing. Okay, I got to know it. I after watching Steve Maro video, I lost it. I won, I think the first week I, I made a lot of money. Then the following week, I lost a whole lot of money. Then I, I was like, what was happening? Then I, I paid for, I, I, I subscribed for a course, BTMM course. I watched the video tirelessly. I couldn't get, I was, I kept losing money. Until that day, I just told myself, stop trading. Sit down and start marking charts. Then I sat down, I marked chart. I marked chart for months before I could be able to discover, oh, this is the, this is the reality. This is the truth. You understand? And the moment you can able to discover that thing yourself, regardless of how many lectures you 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 come to, regardless of how many times you've seen the video, the truth is that you just have to discover that thing yourself. You have to sit down and mark and discover it yourself. Not like because of what Dick Paul said or what Amsel said or what uh, 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 anybody on the group says. You understand? This thing is you. Not anybody, it is you. You have to discover this thing yourself. You understand? I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I I'm really grateful for 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 uh, 
for this class, I'm so I'm really I'm really grateful. It's ad- when when I I was actually on my way home, and then I saw that the class had started. I was like, I can't miss this class or anything. Then I joined, and I've been listening all through. And one thing that came to my mind is that because you finally produced a magician. <laughs> oh, no, this, now these are the chairs I took today. Okay. Now, uh, ah, only today. Hey. Today. Hey, <laughs> oh, Bob. Oh, oh, Baba. You can't do it, it's not hard. Oh, I, God, I'm not I'm not seeing any blood there. Now. No you blood, not blood, no blood, no blood. are not ritually to answer. Hey, oh, God. No, no that'll be so. See, money. <laughs> now, um. For for every one of us, we can actually do this thing. It's not hard. Um, oh, God just, help me. just drop, just drop all these. Um, drop all these. What are the stars where we they trade for here? They lose money. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you have to work hard. No, uh, support and resistance. Ah, uh, I don't know, but I know saying the work. Sure. He did the work. He did the work. Madam, make they break all every support against you. You go break everything. <laughs> we'll break our two seconds. Two seconds. Uh, and I, 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 I have a friend. He actually taught me when I lost, when I first lost my money, I had to go and meet him. Is he, is good. Now he too en- enters, he does white cough, he does other blocks, he does um, institutional trading. Now, for Euro, for GDP USD this afternoon, me and him were chatting. I told him that that market is a, is a buy. Yeah. And because I've seen the W had already formed. Now, he told me that no, it's not a buy, it's a long term sale because from his own chart, he's looking at the other block that the price will go down to where it's going to go. I told him he's going to buy. Immediately, I saw the drop down. I, I, and he hit the 200 MR. I entered my trades and I told him it was going to be a buy. So they, they took a sell. And I know that. <laughs> I know that if if he did not, he took himself to that long, to that 200 M, I know that if he didn't lose it, would have been in loss because I know that that this thing hit over 120 pips. If you check the chart. So I, I was like, and from that chart alone, from that move alone, I closed, I, I think I closed three or four positions at 700 and It'd be between seven hundred and eight hundred dollars. So, that hitting of that hitting of two hundred EMI at what time frame do you normally check it? The hitting of it. See, mm. most times I check all my all my chart too as my price is moving, but as I as I right. check, I follow all the time frames. I go and check. Do you understand? Now, sometimes mm-hmm. when if you are the type that uses one, one hour, you are doing daily trades, for example. Now, once my price hit 200 Emma and I see that it is still going up, I quickly go to the 30 minutes chart and see where that where 200 Emma is on, on, on 30 minutes. Most times I've discovered that most times when the when the price continues to go above. 200 emma in 15 minutes that means in 30 minutes the 200 emma is also close by it and so it, the price wants to go and hit that 200 emma before it will now do the normal reversal that it's supposed to do so i check all the time frames i even go as far as monthly i check my monthly time frame so that i will know where 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 my price is, I check all the time frames, all, all, all. I don't give room for, for, for anything. You see now that AUD USD, see what it's doing, bro? On the monthly time frame. 
that since January 2014, price has just been moving from, from here to this point. Mm -hmm. I be mean, 2018. This is 2018. This is 2017. So now, from all indication, this is level one, level, this is level one, level, this is peak formation high, level one, level, level, one, two. level two. Now and it's going three. to come back to this point or here. If this one completes its circle because it's on 200 MR. If it comes down to, because price is already moving, it has rejected on this level. Now, if I'm going to take this trade, for example, you know that this trade is going to be for many years. <laughs> 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 if, I, if I'm going to take this trade, I know that I will wait for this price to complete its circle. Mm -hmm. Once it completes its circle, I follow it up, and I know that my price is going to go up. It's not magic. So I check all my time frames. I don't look at this thing. So sometimes when some people say this market is doing this, I just quickly go and check all the higher time frames. And one thing we should all note, please, everybody should note it. Once you see a peak low, go to one month and check. Now, the, the, the advantages of checking, I, that if I check my... I didn't get you. That's what was hanging. Okay. Now, I say the advantage, if, for instance, I am on 15 minutes, I am on peak formation low. Now, this price at AUD USD, USD, at this point, I know that it has completed the circle. AUD on 15 minutes, when it gets to 800 MR, it has completed the circle. Now, at this, go back to one hour and check what is he going to do. Now, I know that if he gets to this point, point, that means one hour has completed the level. Now I wait for my price to react in this position and I go back to my four hours and check the direction. Now I know that the direction of AED USD definitely come back to the 50 MR and move back up and complete this circle. Now when you complete to the weekly, you know, daily, after each for is daily. Now, I know that price we get here. Sorry. And it will get here. It will complete the circle at this point. Then boy price will get here. I'll start another circle that will come back to this. Now, in the coming back to this, back up, I know it's a buy because it's a daily time frame. So I know that it's going to be a buy. It's going to... If I see a pullback in four hours, I know that, that throughout that day, the price is going to be a sell. And so, irrespective of the fact that this is on a, on a buy trend, I know that throughout that day, if I'm going to enter any trade on that pair, it's going to be a sell. Because I know that price will actually react downwards to hit 50 or... 50 MR on those lower time frames. So um, those are the things you need to know, understand the, the pullbacks from higher time frames to lower time frames. Now, when he's moving, when he's doing a pullback on lower time frame, it can take maybe one hour, two hours, and it has completed. But if it's a higher time frame, you know that if, for example, four hours, if there's a pullback, pull back to 50 MR. It can take the whole day before it will complete that circle. I said there's news that will push it down with one candle or two candles. Now, um, Steve Marrow will say they used to play with people's psychology. They do things in threes. They complete circles in three days. They complete, they do three levels. They do three candles after Asia. 
laptops and have BTM on the laptops, you will see that once a market is about to move or a trend that you have checked that is maybe it's an uptrend and um, it's going to buy, for example, if you check your Asian, after your Asian box, you see that there are three candles that shows you that it's going to sell. 15, 15 minutes candles that show you that's 45 minutes showing you that it's going to sell. After that last candle has formed and closed, the next candle will be a reversal. If you check the BTM on your laptop, you see that that's how it works. It's three, it's three, it's three, it's three, it's three levels, three days, three, this, three, that. Now, sometimes when they hold, when they hold a, do a consolidation, most times it's for three days, especially when there's news on the third day or the fourth day, you do a three days consolidation before they move the market. So that's it. Is 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 for me? It's it's quite is 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 quite enlightening, and it's, it's just for us to open our hearts. It's just for us to open our hearts to to understand and see that these things are actually is actually possible in the market. Um, the fact that you use a trade today doesn't mean that uh, you are not good at it. You just keep trying, keep trying. Me too, I make mistakes sometimes. Uh, but sometimes when I make that mistake, I try to quickly correct it because I know that price, before a candle closes, for example, if I enter a trade now and I miss my level, my level count. If I enter a trade and I miss my level count, for example, but this candle that's forming that is dropping down now on the daily. Now I know that the price is not going to remain here like this. It will be dangling and dangling and dangling. That dangling, I will wait for it to get close to my position before I close it. No, no. That I will not close in loss. With yeah. big loss. But sometimes you can just decide that if you have entered a trade wrongly. Can just close it, close it in the But you know that you are going to get your money back. Thank you very much. Thank you, think... I'm sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Uh, sir, uh, I would say thank you. Thank you so much, Ansel. And thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, can you...